Hey everyone, Hybrid Toy Reviews here, taking a look at the Black Series Grand Inquisitor from the Obi-Wan Kenobi Show. A super cool looking figure, one that I have been waiting for for a long time. I haven't wanted a Grand Inquisitor since Kenobi started. I've wanted a Grand Inquisitor since Rebels started. So this is a, like, since 2014 want for me. So anyway, let's go ahead, open him up, and take a look and see if he was worth the wait. Before we open them up, you guys know the drill. As always, we'll take a look at our packaging first. This is our last wave featuring plastic windows. So this is the standard for now until next wave. Black Series logo above a big window showing the figure and accessory off nicely. You got your Obi-Wan Kenobi in blue there. His name, Warning 4 Plus Hasbro. This side of the box features artwork of the Grand Inquisitor. And he's looking okay. This side of the box features wraparound window, wraparound blue stripe, Black Series logo down below. Around the back, you have a zoom in on the art. You got the Black Series, his name, a bio about Obi-Wan. Literally the same, the same bio on every Obi-Wan figure. Like, we get it, Hasbro, but, like, we know about the Grand Inquisitor, like, a bit. Like, you could tell us a little bit about the guy. It's not a bio about the Grand Inquisitor. It's a bio about what the show is. He's number nine in the Kenobi line. A bunch of legalese, Disney Hasbro logos. Underneath is barcode, more legalese up top. You got a hanger tab and a window. That's a little light into the package from above. Makes it look a little better displayed in box on the shelf, if that's what you do. I'm not a loser. I open my toys. So without further ado, let's open them up and see what we're getting. So, <clears throat> here we have the Grand Inquisitor out of the package. As always, we'll start by taking a look at his accessory. So, I gotta say, as far as the accessory goes, I'm not too impressed. So... It doesn't have the giant peg like the Fifth Brothers anymore, which is nice. It also doesn't really have any silver paint. It's in this light, light gray plastic, almost white plastic. And then it features black paint accents. I mean, it just looks very flat and plasticky. I do bring in another example. How about that Fifth Brother one that I did just mention? But even then, at least it's painted silver and stuff. You know, this just looks you know, like nothing. So, kind of seems like they've cheaped out here, not not super keen on that, but uh, Hasbro's gonna do what Hasbro's gonna do, right? And that is exactly what Hasbro is gonna do. So, features two blades, moving on, removing the blades, does give you the double-bladed hilt. As I mentioned, it comes with two pegs, Around back, you see his cloak, and we're going to talk about that. But on the shoulder armor there, it does feature two holes. You can peg in the hilt, and there you go. Weapons storage. Rather secure, too. It's not going anywhere. Taking the hilt off, looking at the figure. You know, for what it's supposed to represent, it looks okay. I will openly say that I was not too crazy about the Grand Inquisitor's appearance in the Kenobi show. Um, he's uh, sitting here just looking a little too much like Caillou for my liking. Um, and there's people that are firmly in the camp of for or against. I don't like how it turned out, but I'm also not going to sit here and rant and rave like it's done it's happened and it's still the grand inquisitor and i'm glad we got him in live action so i just would have maybe found a less uh, bowling ball shaped headed guy for the for the role potentially but otherwise he looks okay he has some nice dark evil looking eyes there i will say they were very yellow in the show you know very sith yellow and here they just look dark i i kind of wish they would have maybe gotten a little bit more of the uh, of the yellow likeness there. Um, his forehead tattoos also seem a little shifted to the right on mine, so that's a little bit frustrating, but it's whatever. But I do like the uh, darkness around the eyes. and It turned out alright. Um, as I mentioned, I'm not a fan of the design, but I will say that this figure accurately replicates what you see on screen other than the lack of yellow eye paint. Going down... This has got to be a new body. I'm highly confident that there's no reuse here. Um, his uh, chest armor is like a big rubber overlay. The shoulder pads are giant rubber overlay type pieces. 
Um, and yeah, he, uh, he appears to be all new. I mean, it looks like the Grand Inquisitor. He looks like any other Inquisitor. A lot of black, a lot of gray, right? So some nice, the light, the light up slot on his chest armor. They've captured that Grand Inquisitor pin. I guess he wasn't the Grand Inquisitor in Rebels because he wasn't wearing that. But, uh, <clears throat> that was another weird thing with Kenobi is they just like kind of randomly added things. Like you've got the Grand Inquisitor and then they're like stick a pin on his chest and give him a cape. Why not? Give him a cape. And then, you know, let's go around with this. Um, in the show, the cape comes out from under the shoulder armor and they've tried to replicate that here, but it just bunches up here and looks terrible. Um, truthfully, I gotta say, I, I hate this. I hate the cape. I hate how it turned out. It wants to, because it's bunched up there, it wants to constantly kind of like sit like in like a U-shaped channel, which you'd think would wrap the figure nicely, but it just doesn't doesn't yeah you know, it just doesn't wrap the guy i guess because then it hits the back of the arms and then it can't lay naturally and the cape is just done horribly um and to be honest with you i'm going to take the cape off after this review um it goes to talk you through that maybe i'll show you at the end but these rubber overlays lift up you should be able to pull it up and it goes underneath the peg here in the torso so you just have to unwrap it from the figure, and I'll just have him capeless, looking a little bit more like Rebels, and just a little bit better all around. So, yeah, I'm not keen on the cape. I mean, I do like the two-tone fabric, you know, it's very good, kind of like brownish maroon with the black on this side. I mean, it, I mean, they, they tried. I'll say they tried. Just didn't turn out very good. To run through some articulation, I guess maybe that can save this guy. Features a double ball neck allowing him to look that high up and bury his chin he could rotate his head and get some crazy head and neck pivot his arms come up to a t-pose and do some awesome butterfly joint 360 at the shoulder the shoulder pads can go with they're that kind of new rubber ring in the joint thing so can go with you just have to work it with it single jointed elbows can go a little past 90 and rotate 360 at the wrist both of them hinge in and out that's atrocious that is disgusting how can you have a lightsaber guy and not give him pointing the saber hands how can the grand inquisitor look menacing when he can only hold his lightsaber in a defensive pose comes with a mid torso ball joint allowing him to crunch that far forward really far back got some good side to side and rotation he can kick his legs that far apart. The thigh armor kind of rides up over the waist, but it's nice and rubbery, so he can go that far. That's really nice, actually. And kick that far forward. Not much back. There's an upper thigh rotation. Single joint and knee. can go a little past 90 and rotate at the knee. And then his feet can point straight down, pretty far forward. And there's forward-facing pin for rocker, allowing you to get some decently wide stances with both feet flat on the ground. To do some size comparisons, get him standing up. How about the Kenobi series Vader with a custom Syndicate Custom Creations head sculpt? How about Reva if she will stand? How about the fifth brother again? He will stand and how about the second sister if she will stand is that not a recurring theme with these inquisitors anyway this is an awesome looking group shot one i've been waiting to make for some time so end of the day what do i think of the grand inquisitor you know i'm overall happy i do have gripes i've harped on them um, the articulation itself is fine, minus the wrist articulation. Even then, I found a pose that works. Um, that cape is coming off. To be honest with you, I'm probably going to film a segment for Instagram after I take the thumbnails, and I'll try to tack it on at the end. Um, but uh, otherwise, check it out on Instagram. But I'm going to take that off. I just cannot work with this. <laughs> it's just not, not user-friendly. So...
the and and you know ultimately i kind of prefer the look of him without it but and maybe there might be some third party later on down the road that works better for it anyway but overall i think it's a fine figure to be fair and it's a grand inquisitor and if you want a grand inquisitor for your rebels shelf this is what you got so you got to work with it um i really don't like the hasbro cheaped out on the lightsaber paint uh, that's that's definitely no bueno in my eyes, and uh, to be honest with you, I'm hoping that I just got a bad copy that didn't that didn't miss, that missed that bit of paint on the assembly line. Um, I I refuse to believe that Hasbro would let that out looking like that, but maybe potentially perhaps a little bit. But yeah, anyway, not keen on that. But do I recommend the figure? Honestly, yeah, it's a pretty good pickup if you're a Kenobi fan, which I think you should be. It's a really great show. Or if you want it for your Rebel shelf, or if you just like the Inquisitors. I, 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 can't, I can't have Inquisitors on my shelf without a Grand Inquisitor up front, and that's just how it is. So, anyway, a bunch of reasons to add it, and I think ultimately, despite its flaws, it's still a worthy one to add. I'm going to go work on some other stuff now, so thank you for watching. It means a lot that you did. If you enjoyed, just leave a like, comment, subscribe, all that end of video stuff. Uh, until next time, may the Force be with each and every one of you. Bye.